An audit of the nation's VA system released today shows more than 57,000 military veterans are facing three-month waits for their first appointments. The report also sheds light on delays here in New Hampshire. But as our Adam Sexton reports live from the VA Medical Center in Manchester, wait times here are nowhere near as bad as they are at other facilities. Right, Adam? Well, Shelley, veterans we spoke with today say they don't have many problems here, and in general, the numbers from this report back them up. Wait times at this facility are below the national average. Pete Duford is a Vietnam veteran who signed up to serve in the U.S. Army from 1969 to 1972. He's in disbelief at how fellow vets are being treated around the country, with some waiting more than 90 days to see a VA doctor. I was really interested in the stories because it seems to be a lot of them in different places, and I had no idea. Duford says part of why he was so surprised by the scandal is that he's never heard of anything like it happening at the VA Medical Center in Manchester. I actually get better appointment times on a schedule than I did when I had civilian insurance. So I have absolutely no complaints about the patient care here. When federal auditors came to Manchester last month, on the books they found more than 20,000 scheduled appointments. Only 2 percent, or around 500 patients, were waiting longer than 30 days to see a doctor. The national average is 4 percent. In Phoenix, Arizona, the center of the VA controversy, it's 11 percent. Administrators in Manchester say the majority of patients waiting longer than a month fall into just a couple of categories. We've recently established a very popular pain clinic, which has, uh, is uh, in high demand, and those are the types of services that some veterans are waiting uh, greater than 30 days, so, and also our audiology department as well for hearing, hearing aids, that kind of thing. Locals can't speculate on the cause of delays elsewhere, but they do point out that more than a third of the people working at the Manchester VA are veterans themselves. If they could all do it like they do it here, it wouldn't be a problem. All four members of New Hampshire's congressional delegation weighed in with statements on this issue today. Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter went so far as to call on U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder to get involved and take a leading role in investigating what she calls criminal wrongdoing within the VA system. Reporting live in Manchester, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.